Hello pilots and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about how to launch a fixed ring. And in this case especially a data ring that hasn't a dedicated fuselage where you can grab on. And sometimes they are pretty difficult to launch especially if you are a beginner. There are different methods to launch them. There's an overhead launch, a frisbee launch, there's also a nose grab overhead launch. and. Um, yeah, multiple diff different methods. Some people even have uh, installed like grips on the bottom of the f of the uh, data wing to throw them. But uh, some of them are more or less dangerous, especially for your fingers. So you don't want to get them into your prop when it's running. And today I want to show you two methods I prefer for launching uh, data rings like the AR Wing Pro, and I show you how in detail how I do that and uh, try to make it as safe as possible. In my case, I launch my planes with iNav auto launch all the time, but this is also helpful, especially the ring toss method if you are alone and you want to launch your rings or if you have someone who can take over control or if, if you have someone who throws for you. So you sh should show these people how to do it with this video. So without further ado, let's go into it and I will show you the first method. The first method I want to show you is the backward overhead launch. This method is pretty popular amongst ring pilots and has some good advantages. For example, you have a very stable throw without giving any roll inputs. So you can fully concentrate on the right pitch angle. And here you see me throwing it and the ring goes straight away. The downside of that method on the other hand is that uh, you, are, you get the propeller pretty close to your face sometimes. So you have to be very careful and I only use that method for maiden flights usually. The second launch method is the ring toss method and I will show you in detail here how I grab the plane on the ring root very close to the center of the fuselage. This allows me to have a very good control, but you have to be careful and you have to train a little bit to not get the uh, get any yaw twist into the plane. As you can see here, why I move the plane into the uh, target flight direction, I move my wrist inwards so I make sure I give it a straight toss and not some frisbee-like uh, yeah, twist motion. And by that you can also get a very stable and straight launch. And because this all went pretty fast, now let's make some time shifts and I show you step for step how this is done. Before I do the actual throw, you see I bend my knees so I get a little bit more travel way when I do the actual throw. Um, and also keep attention when exactly I will release the plane because um, it's very important to not release it too late. As you can see here, I release the plane when my arms and the body of the wing have around a uh, right angle, a 90 degree angle. And I do not really throw or put a lot of force into it. I just gently pull the ring upwards into the right direction so it has a perfect launch angle at, at the moment when I release my fingers. This also helps to keep the propeller away from my face. For the ring toss launch, you can see when I prepare and go backwards, I also prepare to make one step forwards to get also more movement into my body. And here you also see a little mistake I do here uh, because I give the ring some twist away from me. It's important to uh, keep an eye on that and uh, try not to twist back the plane too fast and give it any yaw input. Also check on where I am looking at. I'm actually looking slightly in front of the plane to have the path and the nose in my view. At this point you can see how my hand le leaves the front of the wing, but actually I already start to lose my grip at the moment when the winglet is n uh, right next to my face. And I have to get the hand removed from the ring 
uh, as soon as my arm is parallel to the ring cord. And here in the arm cam you can also see how I twist my wrist to make sure the plane flies straight and I don't give it any yaw momentum. Okay, that's everything I can tell you about my two ring toss or ring launch methods. I hope you learned something today and um, if you try that the first time or if you want to practice uh, both methods a little bit, make sure you try to find a spot where you have a long meadow or whatever, something soft where the play ca plane can go into it just in case something goes wrong. And if you liked that video, then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.